G'day Virtual Pilots, in this video we're going to look at how to do the uh, dive bombing using the DCSP 47D40 and then the D30 with a couple of different techniques. The first target is going to be that blue rift building, so before we get into that we're going to have to set up the airplane, so we'll have a look at the dive bombing flow. So we've got two bombs, one on each wing, so I'm going to arm the left and the right side with right click. Then the safety switch, I'm going to set that to ready, and I want to drop both bombs at once, so I'm going to select both the left and the right, and we're going to drop bombs, so we select the bomb and tank. Now this example, we're doing a dive bomb from high altitude, so somewhere between six and 8,000 feet will work out nicely. The aim is going to be to have a dive angle between 45 and 60 degrees, so it's going to be nice and steep. And uh, when we begin the dive, we're going to put the target on the crosshair, and then we're going to slowly add a bit of lead and we're going to place the target at a spot that puts it underneath the gun sight glass and then by around 3000 feet AGL um, we're going to release the bombs all at once and then we're going to recover by 1000 feet and climb up that way we get out of range of the AAA on the ground. Now to get the steep dive angle that you need um, you want to put the target towards the inside of your wing and then as you start rolling in towards the target you kind of keep it there and then you can start initiating the roll and then you can cut the power and then as you roll you kind of let the target slide up along the fuselage until it comes out in front of the nose and place the target in the sight get yourself stable then add some back pressure and put it underneath the gun sight glass and just keep an eye on the altimeter in your peripheral vision and at 3000 feet release the bombs at full power and begin the recovery should be covered by about a thousand feet which should be good and then with the excess airspeed you got you can initiate that climb and get out of range of the AAA. Now obviously the flak is still going to be shooting at you so uh, don't lose all your airspeed but just get enough distance away to make yourself harder to hit. Now if your entry speed is too high beginning with this dive then you may need to use those compressibility flaps if you can slow to you know between 200 and 150 miles per hour before you initiate the dive then you shouldn't have any issues with overspeeding on your way to attack the target. So in this example we're going to be using the P47D30 so uh, this means we don't have that uh, bomb and rocket control panel we have previously. Now the target we're going for is a bridge which is just next to the building there. Now we want to attack this at around about a 25 to 30 degree dive and how we're going to do that is we're going to line up the target with the inboard gun port. Uh, you can see the picture there, it's from a previous video I made. Uh, I don't have this skin in DCS, but uh, the line still applies, so that's about the approximate position you'll need. So now we can get ready for the bombing attack itself, so we'll run through the flow. And the flow itself is going to be very simple. We've only got the belly bomb equipped, so we just arm that. And then moving forward, we don't have that panel, remember, so we're actually going to use this red handle to drop the belly bomb. So initial altitude is going to be around about 3,000 feet AGL and your entry speed is going to be uh, 220 miles per hour and don't really go too much faster than that. Um, we're just trying to adjust our heading here so we've got our target lined up in the inboard gun port again and then once the target touches the leading edge of the wing at that point we'll initiate our roll and turn towards the target and dive towards it and we'll release the bomb at about 7 to 500 feet AGL. So we're coming up on it now, just about to touch the leading edge at the point we want. So we'll initiate our roll and turn towards the bridge. Now you can put the gun sight onto the target itself. Um, however, in this dive we will need to add the lead so we can hit the target correctly. So we're going to put it underneath the gun sight glass. And once we come into around about 700 feet, 500 foot AGL, we'll release the bomb. And then we'll begin the recovery. It's important to not recover too late or else you could um, accidentally frag yourself with the resulting explosion depending on the size of the bomb. Now this is the kind of attack I'd want to be using against targets that aren't well defended simply because you won't have as high of an exit speed and you're going to be a little bit lower on your altitude as well. This is going to increase your exposure during your attack. That'll complete the video though on how to conduct glide bombing and dive bombing in the DCS P47. Until next time, we're going to fly safe and check your six.